Welcome. My name is Gina Rowe, and thank you for joining me today. I've been asked by a few friends about how to get ready for some of the stuff that we're currently seeing in the world today. So I'm going to make a few videos to help out. I'm going to focus on keeping it super affordable, super simple, and just focusing on the basics to get started with. You don't need to go over the top. And today we're going to start with the most basic of needs, water. Now, according to FEMA and the Red Cross and all those places that are into surviving and preparedness, they recommend one gallon per person per day. Okay. Fortunately, you can get that in a number of different ways. So I'm going to cover the quantities, the options, and some of the prices. First, the easiest, a gallon jug. These typically range around a dollar a gallon. These are currently 80 cents at Walmart. One gallon per person per day. Now the recommendation is that you have at least three days worth of water per person. And ideally 14 days worth of water. So just start, pick up a couple of gallons next time you go to the store. Three gallons per person gives you three days for each person. And that'll typically get you through some of the real short-term emergencies. If there's a big storm and the water is potentially contaminated, if you live in an area where there's accidental contamination and they put a boil order in place, to have a couple of gallons of water set aside so you don't have to boil all of your water, especially if the power is also out, it's going to be a lifesaver. And although these are really easy, there is a downside to them. One is they don't stack well. This is the same plastic that milk jugs are used in, but don't use milk jug because um, of the bacteria con content. But this is a really flimsy plastic. It doesn't support weight very well and it will crush easily and they tend to break down. So they do take up um, a bit of space, but if you have like an under a shelf or an under a bed or the bottom of a closet, these are a great way to store some water. But probably the most convenient is these water bottles, right? Most of us keep some around anyway. We use them to varying degrees anyway. These bottles are typically 16 ounces, right? Which means that you need eight of these to equal one gallon, okay? Eight of the 16 ounce water bottles is one gallon. Remember that, it's super handy to know. Which means that a 24 pack of water is a three day supply for one person. So if you pick up one 24 pack per person, you'll have your three day supply covered really easily. They're kind of heavy. <laughs> um, but they're super cheap, they're super affordable, um, and you can get varying sizes. I grabbed a 24 pack just because it was an, the easiest way to have a three day supply. But they come in 30 packs, 40 packs. Right now at Walmart, a 32 pack is $2.98, which makes these like somewhere around eight to 10 cents a piece or 80 cents a day, which is the equivalent to what the one gallon jug was. There are some disadvantages to these. They are pretty flimsy, right? But you can't beat these on convenience. And chances are you already keep some bottled water around anyway. I always make sure I grab some when I'm heading out of town, hitting the road. They're great to freeze and use as um, ice bottles in your coolers when you're traveling. They're just really, really handy. When, and especially in current times, when somebody comes over, I hand them a water bottle, right? Because it's easy, it's disposable, it's recyclable, and um, they don't have to worry about contamination or anything. So, these little water bottles are a great thing. 24 pack is three days worth. Or, 112 bottles is 14 days worth, right? If you're buying the, the 40 packs at Walmart, 
You only need three of them, right? I bought 32 packs, I only needed four of them. And for about $10, you can get a 14 days worth of, of water supplied per person. Really affordable, really convenient, really um, easy. And one of the things that's really great about these things is these are actually, because of the way they're shrink wrapped together, these are actually pretty stable. And you can stack them quite high, which means that if you just have a corner, you can create a decent little stack and uh, they don't take up that much space. They're also easy to throw into a closet or under the bed or a lot of little places where you can just tuck them away and just pull them out when you need them. They're also really easy to rotate because even if you only use a couple a week, you're going to cycle through a couple of packs of these on a fairly regular basis. So these, these drinking bottles are one of my favorite ways to store the short term, especially the three day water supply. Or let's go for the cheapest option. Empty two liter bottles. If you drink soda in your house, you've got these things around, you probably recycle them all the time. Instead, keep them, wash them, rinse them out really well, wash them with a little bit of bleach, and then fill them back up with water. So how much water do you need if you're using two liter bottles? Okay, so one gallon is equivalent to 3.74 liters. What? I know. One of these is pretty close to two of these. It'll give you a little extra water, but in an emergency, extra water is gonna be a good thing. The obvious best thing about these is they are free, right? Um, if you don't drink soda pop, ask one of your friends if they'd save you two little bottles for you. They are also um, sturdier plastic. Than, the other, than any of the other options so far. This is, a, this is a sturdier plastic, and I store mine laying down. When, they, when you lay them down, they actually, and they're full, because of the conical shape of them, it actually gives them more stability, and you can lay them down pretty easily. Now I just put something underneath them, but I have an empty cabinet in, in one of my bathrooms that I just lay them down and stack them up, and I can just stack row by row, and you can get some water stored pretty easily. The other thing is, is you can just, when you're done, take every couple of years, take them out, dump the water out and refill them back up. So two liter bottles are a super cheap, super simple way to get your water in. Start collecting these now, even if it's just for extra water. And one other option for storing water are these big blue barrels. Now, they're 55 gallons each. They used to run about 25 or $30. Currently, they're between 50 and $75 a piece. So they are a little pricier, but these last forever. And as you can see, you can store them outside. I recommend not storing them in direct sun because sunlight will break down the plastics faster. But these are super heavy duty. They're also really heavy. 55 gallons of water weighs over 400 pounds. So whatever you're gonna do, put them where you want them first. And although putting water into them is pretty easy, just through the little holes in the top here, getting water out is something you need to consider. Now you can add a spigot or you can buy ones with spigots. I don't see those very often, but you can buy one with a spigot or add a spigot near the bottom to be able to get water out. Or you need a siphon and it needs to be long enough to reach the bottom of the barrel because these barrels are over three feet tall. Okay. They have two, they have two bungs at the top. You simply just put water in and you can put a, you can stick a siphon down in to get the water out. You just need to make sure that you have a siphon if you are gonna store these. The best thing about the blue water barrels is they do last a really long time and they hold a lot of water. 55 gallons of water is a lot of water. Um, and they, they have a really long life because they're made out of such heavy duty plastic. It's an option 
to consider. Just make sure you think through all of the parts of it first. Then, in addition to storing water, you really want to have a way to filter water. Now, first of all, let me just say that those Brita filters and the cute little ones that you put into your fridge that you pick up the grocery store typically are insufficient. They will filter, they're usually charcoal, charcoal filters and they'll filter out bad taste and sometimes hard water particulates, but they do not do a good enough job to filter out um, microbial aspects or bacteria or any of those sort of things. So do not use a Brita filter unless you're just using common tap water. For a boil order in your area, a Brita filter is not sufficient to get your water clean enough to drink. But we do have a couple of options. We'll start with the cheapest one, which is the Life Straw. Okay, there may be cheaper ones out there, but a Life Straw is a super affordable method and incredibly highly rated. It gets out 99.99999% of contaminants. You can use this if you're out camping and you're drinking out of a stream. This will filter out Giardia. It will filter out harmful bacteria, all those sort of things. And it's designed to be a straw. It's got a lanyard to wear around your neck. You simply pop the top to drink through here. And then at the bottom, there is like a little mesh part and then there's a filter inside. And so you just pop, open this, put it into whatever your source is, whether it's a stream or whatever, and then you just drink through it. These will filter about 4,000 gallons of fairly clean, fresh water. If you're drinking really murky water, you're gonna to wanna to pre-filter it and it'll shorten the life of your life straw. Um, but it will get out any contaminants. And these are about, $20. They're $19.99 on both Amazon and at Walmart. You can sometimes find them on sale. Um, they were uh, only they were on sale as part of Amazon Prime Day. Um, so you can sometimes find them a little bit cheaper, but if you have nothing else, get a life straw because it will get you out of any of the major contaminations. Next is a Berkey filter. Now this is the smallest one, this is the Travel Berkey. Um, but this has the same type of rating as the Life Straw. It will get out 99.99999% of anything that you can put into it. And it's a simple gravity fed filter. You put the water in the top, it filters through here and catches down in the catch basin that has a spigot off the front to dispense the water from. The way it works is, I just emptied this. You can see there are a couple of black filters in here and they're special Berkey filters. Don't get any other kind. Um, and they will do, each do 3,000 gallons of water. So this one, because there are two in it, will do 6,000 gallons before I need to change out the filter. And these filters come through small holes in the bottom and then they drip down into the bottom and uh, that's how you dispense your water. These are very, very highly rated. I use this in my kitchen every day. I bought it for um, my camper because when you're out camping, you don't always know the source of your water or how clean it is. So I always run it through my Berkey, but I use it every day anyway, just because I love having the filtered water. And this is really easy to use. Now they are pricier. They range between uh, $150 to $450 depending on the size that you get. And the bigger the Berkey, the more water it holds, but the more filters it has inside, which means you can do more water before you have to change out your filters. Like the biggest one I think has seven filters inside, which means that you can do like 20,000 gallons before you need to swap out your filters. Um, a little pricier. And I had trouble, this one was $159 on the Berkey website, but they've been out of stock for months. And I found somebody who's an independent distributor with Berkey who was selling it for $179, but they got it for me in two weeks. So you can get Berkey's, you just have to find somebody that's an independent distributor. I am not selling Berkey's, um, I'm not a distributor with them, but it is one of the highest rated filters around. 
and it's one of those ones that you will buy it and you will use it literally for the rest of your life. They're built that solid and they last that long. Then another option that's in between is this one. And this is a Sawyer and Sawyers are really highly rated and they make a life straw option, but I couldn't find one. Um, but they have a great reputation. Their life straw is smaller. It's, it looks just like this. It's a little tinier one, um, but this is specifically a gravity system. And inside here, there's a, you can see the picture on the front. There's a big bladder, right? That you fill with water and you hang it like from a tree or hang it anywhere. And then it filters down through a tube through their little mini straw device. And that's how you get the water out. This is $35. I bought mine at Walmart, $34.99. Um, but you can buy them online in a lot of places. But this will do 100,000 gallons. And so even though it's a little bit harder to use, if there was a real crunch situation, being able to do 100,000 gallons of water is incredible. And again, this is really highly liberating just like the life straw and we'll get up 99.9999% of all of the contaminants. So really high quality, a little more complicated to use, but in a true emergency, um, super great to have because you can do large, larger quantities of water for your whole family or for a larger group. These are also really popular if you're camping, if you're camping with a group of people and can't take enough water with you, know you're gonna be drinking from a stream or something, you can do a lot of water. This does a gallon in as little as seven minutes and this weighs eight ounces. So it's very, very lightweight. Um, and the instructions are really simple and you can use this and reuse it over and over again. And this little cartridge, which is the filtration part, is something you can purchase um, additional cartridges of. And this is the part that does the 100,000. So if you buy a couple of these and keep them around, um, you can do enough gallon, enough water to get you through any big emergency. Water. Whatever you do, you need water. This is just enough for drinking and food preparation. This isn't about taking baths or any sort of cleaning. This is just to get you through an absolute crisis. Do something today. Do something with water today. Even if you just take an empty pitcher and fill it with water and have it handy, just in case. Next time you go to the store, pick up something, even if it's just pop so you can fill the bottles and store them away. But do something, do something today to be prepared.